uh, now we are going to continue the second type of function that is going to be called as uh, many to one function. In the previous uh, class we have seen about one to one function we have seen the various problems based upon the one to one function. Now we are going with the second type of function called many to one function. So, a function which is not a one to one function is called as a many to one function that is distinct elements may have same image. So, in such case we can say the function as a one to one uh, many to one function. So, simple definition for it is a function a function f maps a to b is said to be is said to be many to one function if if it is not if it is not a one one function. That means, for example, different elements of set A, at least two different elements of set A may have the same image. Say set A and set B. F B a function from set A to set B. Say take the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. Say different elements may have the same image, at least two elements of the domain, at least two elements of the domain if they have the same image then we can say the function as many to one function. So, basically a function which is not a one to one function is said to be a many to one function. So, to find the number of many to one functions uh, the formula what we need to use is total number of functions minus one to one functions. So, we do not have much about the many to one functions, but simply you can understand that if a function is not a one to one function it is said to be a many to one function. Now, let us see about the formula to find the number of many to one functions. So, I will go with the note. Number of many to functions from set A to set B is equals to total number of functions that is n of B to the power of n of A minus number of 1 to 1 functions that is n of b p n of a. So, a function if you have got a function it must be either a 1 to 1 function or many to 1 function. So, when I add many to 1 functions and 1 to 1 functions it should give you total number of functions. Say if you have an example where the total number of functions are 10 and 1 to 1 functions are 4 then the remaining 6 must be many to one functions. So, the total number of many to one functions is given by total number of functions minus number of one to one functions and we do not have any condition to have a many to one function likewise in the case of one to one functions, one to one functions are possible only when uh, from a to a, a to b are possible only when n of a is less than or equal to n of b, but there is no condition to check whether uh, many to one functions are possible or not, there is no condition for it. So, here let me go, go through some example. Here the total number of functions in the previous example let us check it here carefully here say a b a and b contains elements 2 to elements in each. So, total number of functions possible are 4 functions possible and as if like how we have drawn the previous I am going to draw the 4 functions once again. So, with two elements in each there are four functions possible. So, the four functions are these So, out of these these two functions are going to be one one functions it is going to be one one function it is going to be a one one function because distinct elements have got the distinct images and here the distinct elements are not have the same images. So, obviously, at least two elements of set A are having the same image therefore, such kind of functions are called as many one functions. It is called many one function and even this is also called as many to one function. So, if the total number of functions are 4 out of which 2 are going to be 1 to 1 the rest of are going to become many to one functions.
So, here we have completed about the number of 1 to 1 functions concept of 1 to 1 function and 9 to 1 function. Let us do some problem based upon the 1 to 1 function. Here there is a question says that uh, f is a function f maps a to b is a function defined by defined by f of x is equal to 3 x minus 2 and here he has given you the domain A as a set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set B is given as set B is given as 1, 4, 7, 10 and 13. So, the question is is F 1, 1. Now, in this particular problem here he has given you the function domain as well as the rule. The domain is given and the rule is given I have told you to go with the arrow diagram. So, here because the domain is a finite domain it is better to find the images of all the elements of that domain. So, I go ahead with the arrow diagram in this case. So, the domain contains a finite number of elements and codomain also contains a finite number of elements. The elements in the domain are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the elements in the codomain are 1, 4, 7, 10 and 13. Now, f is a function defined by f of x is equals to given f of x is equals to 3x minus 2. Now, find the image of every element of the domain. The first element in the domain is 1. So, the image of 1 is given by f of 1 is equal to 3 into 1 minus 2 you get 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. So, the image of 1 is going to be 1 and image of 2 under the function f is going to be given by 3 into 2 minus 2. It is 6 minus 2 it is going to be 4. The image of 2 is going to be 4 and the image of next number in the domain is going to be f of 3. f of 3 is equal to 3 into 3 minus 2 it is 9 minus 2 it is going to be 7. So, image of 3 is going to be 7. Image of 4 is going to be f of 4 equal to 3 into 4 minus 2 is going to be 12 minus 2 is going to be 10. And finally, the image of 5 is going to be 3 into 5 minus 2 it is 15 minus 2 is going to be 13. So, what did you observe from the arrow diagram is we observed that distinct elements have got the distinct images. Therefore, we can say the conclusion that distinct elements as distinct elements have of a have distinct images in B. So, the function f is 1 1. So, this is the example for a 1 to 1 function. So, with this we have finished the AM2.